Hello. So we're going to combine a lot of what we've learned into doing sun salutations. The first one, you can choose various ways to do it. There's no written rule. You have to do it how you feel good for you. And we all have injuries, like my left shoulder, we all get to a certain point in life, we have injuries. So please listen to how you're doing it. And the first time we do it, I will go through, and you can choose which position you would like to be, but we can all stand. And learning to stand is the most important lesson in life, well, in yoga. So if you can't stand with your feet together and you'd like to stand, you feel more stable with your feet apart, please feel free. If you want to stand with your feet together, four corners of your feet, bring your heels in, they don't necessarily have to touch, but ideally your legs should touch all the way up, very few people that happens to. Outer to inner heel press down. The energy has to come up the center of the body. So you're using your inner legs. Small movement. Thighs roll in, knees roll out. Squeeze the outer ankles, inner knees apart. Lift your knees, don't push them back. Grip the hips, relax your bottom. Take your thighs back, your shins back. So you're standing on your heels. Pubic bone comes up, not back. Tailbone drops down. Turn your shoulders to lift the sternum. Soften the ribs back, your head back. Widen the collarbones. And then on the out breath, turn from the elbows, your leg, hands back to your legs. Stretch your fingers, release your fingers, and bring your middle finger in. And it should be in the middle of your thigh. Make sure always that you are in both feet equally and the shoulders are relaxing down. The shoulders should always stay a long way from your ears no matter what you're doing. So, namaste. Om Suryam Namasa. Breathe in, take the arms wide and up. Stretch your little fingers. Elbows in, turn your hands, try to keep your arms by your ears. Obviously, if you feel it in your back, please bend your knees. But basically, lift the pubic bone, don't let your legs go back, and just fall forwards and let your arms go. If you can't reach the floor, bend your, everybody's bending their knees at this point. Try to tuck your bottom in and then try to straighten the legs. Bend the knees again. Downward dog hands. Remember to use your fingers rather than the heel of your hand. We're going to step back into plank or downward dog. So if you go into downward dog, have your feet a little apart and do that. If you're doing plank, Bring your feet together, come forward on your wrist, push your heels back, lift your tummy, shoulder blades down. Now if you can bend your elbows behind and bring your chest down first, please do. If not, bend your knees and also in downward dog, come down to your knees and lie on your tummy. Hands by your chest. Or if you want to do sphinx, hands by your ears, but grip your elbows in and come up. Or you can do cobra. You did this the last session. Press your toes to the floor. Push your index finger thumb forward. Come up. Look at the floor. Be aware of the back of the neck. Come down, or you can take your hands by your waist, stretch your legs back, press your toes to the floor, breathe in, come forwards up on the knees or off the knees. And then put your knees down, 
and have your feet apart, toes touching and come back. Now, if you have bad knees or whatever, please just come to hands and knees. It's up to you. But if you can come back, it's quite a nice feeling. Walk fingers forward, or if you're on your hands and knees, check your knees are under your hips and your on your arms are slightly forward of your shoulders. Pull the arms back if you're doing that. Come up to hands and knees. You can all do downward dog with bent knees or with straight legs. Press down between the index finger, thumb, inner elbows, looking at each other. Breathe in and put the bottom on the ceiling. Come high, high, high. Don't move anything. Just take the leg back to the wall behind. So you're taking the weight in your legs and out of the arms. So to bend your knees, do the same thing. And then come up and have a couple of breaths in downward dog. Nice and wide breath. Let the head go. And then come up onto your toes. Try to use your tummy muscles and swing your right leg through to your right hand. Now, it's quite difficult to do this. If it comes like that, then just drag your ankle like that. And if you can't manage it at all, just walk forward. Okay, and dip so it's a nice groin stretch. Okay, and then bring your left foot. Have your feet hip distance apart. You can bend your knees over your feet, or if you can keep your weight forwards, come up. Lift the chest and take your arms back. And then come down. Okay, so we do the same the other side. So standing, feet apart or feet together. Heels, grip the hips, lift your knees, feel both feet. Thighs roll in, small movement. Knees roll out, squeeze the outer ankles, inner knees apart. Take your thighs back, your shins back. So you're standing on your heels. Lift the pubic bone, tailbone down. Turn the shoulders. Lifts the crown of the head, chin parallel to the floor. And turn your hands back and release your fingers. Be in both feet, breathe. Try to move on the out breath generally. When you're lifting your arms, it's better to move on the in breath. Namaste. Breathe in, take the arms wide and up. You can check your hands, make sure they're looking at each other. Turn the hands, keep your arms by your ear. Lift up your tummy and feel like you're falling forwards. Bend the knees. Drop your bottom, try and tuck it under rather than stick it out and lift the eyes. And then straighten the legs. Hands flat on the floor. Okay, really press your fingers down. Try not to have your hands like this. It's very bad for your wrist. Okay, if you're doing downward dog, take your left leg slightly to the side and right leg and come back here. If you're doing plank, bring your feet together, check your little toe to the edge of the mat, come onto your wrist, push your heels back, lift your tummy, pull the shoulder blades down. Knees, ah, oh, sorry. If you can bring, come down, bend in your elbows, do. If not, scoop up the tummy and come down. And everybody, if they're in down the dog, lie on your tummy. So you can do sphinx, hands by your ears, gripping in the elbows, look at the floor, breathe in, come up, relax your bottom. Just lift your chest off the floor. Cobra, hands by your chest, 
Remember to stretch your legs back. Push forward with the index finger, thumb, and draw the elbows back. Look at the floor. Relax your bottom. Come down. Well, if you're doing upward dog, hands by your waist. Stretch your leg back, press your toes, keep swapping legs. Breathe in, come forward and up so your chest comes through your arms. And knees down, either on hands and knees or have your toes together. Some people, the so knees can't bring their bottoms back. If you can, bring the arms back, bottom heavy, middle finger in the middle, stretch them all out. Walk your fingers, but draw your arms back into the shoulder without moving the hands. Breathe in and on the out breath, come up to hands and knees, take your knees under the hips, toes under, breathe in. And on the out breath, bottom on the ceiling, come up on your toes, lift your knees, lift your knees, let your head go, and then the back of the legs go to the wall behind. So you feel your front body lengthen. Press the fingers down, pull the arms into the shoulders, and the shoulder blades up to the hips, and the pubic bone up to the front, outer heels down if you can. And come up onto your toes. Keep your hips very high and take your left leg through to your left hand. If it doesn't come, grab the ankle or you can walk straight through. Press your inner heel to keep your knee over your ankle and sink down between the legs. And then bring your other leg forward. This time have your feet apart. You can bend your knees over your feet, or you can come up the straight legs. Lift your tummy. Don't push your tummy out, but lift your chest and go back. And then bring the hands down. Okay, so I hope you've decided which, what you are doing. And we'll do, I'll do it like I do it and you do it as you want to do it. Okay, so standing. Grip in the hips, lifting your knees, thighs, ankles, inner knees. Thighs back, shins back, equal weight. Pubic bone, tailbone, turn the shoulders, take the head back. Namaste. Om Surya Namasana. Breathe in, take the arms wide and up. Turn your hands, lift your tummy, fall forward. Fingers by your toes, bend your knees, lift your eyes, drop the bottom, straighten the leg. Hands flat on the floor, downward dog or plank. And down to the knees. If you're in downward dog, lie down. Or bring your chest down first. Hands either by the ear or by the shoulders, chest or by the waist. Stretch your legs back, press your toes to the floor. Breathe in. Come. Knees back down into Tabletop or into bottom back on the heels. Stretch out your arms. Come up to hands and knees. Take your knees under your hips, toes under. Press down into the fingers, bottom on the ceiling. And on the out breath, back of the legs to the wall behind. Shoulder blades up the back, pubic bone up the front. No saggy tummies. Let the head go. 
Check you can't see your heels. That means that your feet are going straight back. And ideally, the outer edges of the heel go down. And come up on your toes. Keep the tummy lifted. Try to use your tummy to bring your right leg forwards. And remember to bring the ankle if it doesn't. You need your ankle forwards of the knee. And then sit down. And then bring your left leg. Everybody have their feet a little apart. Bend your knees or straight legs. Up you come. Lift the chest. Back of the head. And then down. Other side. Standing. Do check your feet are the same. An equal weight. Try to stretch your toes. Outer to inner heel, energy comes up. Grip the hips, lift your knees. Thighs, knees, ankles, inner knees. Thighs back. So you're on your heels. Never push into the back of the knees. Pubic bone lifts, tailbone drops. Widen the collarbones. Bring your head back. Turn your hands, release your fingers. Be at both feet, moments of standing. When you learn to stand properly, you can stand forever, never get tired. So it's worth practicing standing. See how you normally stand. Namaste. Breathe in, take the arms wide and up. I always have to check my hands, I do funny things with the wrist. Turn your hands, lift your tummy, fall forwards with the arms by your ear, fingers by your toes, bend your knees, drop your bottom, lift your eyes, straighten the legs. Hands flat on the floor, left leg back into downward dog or plank. Come forward on your wrist if you're in plank. Push your heels back, lift your tummy. Come down to your knees if you're in downward dog or if you can bring your chest down first, please do. But lift your tummy, use your arms to come down even if your knees are down. Hands by your ears, chest or waist. Stretch the left other leg back, then the other. Press your toes firmly to the floor. Breathe in and up you come. Knees down, bottom back on the heels or be on hands and knees. And come back. Draw the arms back so your ribs lift. Come up to hands and knees. Flick your feet behind your knees, toes under. Breathe in, bottom on the ceiling, and on the out breath, take your legs back. Remember, bend your knees if it's too much on the hamstrings, or notice if your heels are now going nearer the floor. Lift the pubic bone, shoulder blades up the back. Come up onto your toes, Hips very high, don't let your hip block drop and bring your left leg forward. Just wriggle it forward so your knee is back of the ankle, sink down between the legs and then bring your right leg forward. Check your feet are parallel to the mat. You can come up with straight legs or bent knees. Breathe in, lift the chest. And then come down. Thank you. I hope it was plain and you understood. Doing some salutation means you do stretch every muscle. So please persevere. Try and do it. It gets easier and easier.
Thank you.